Cumberland County now operating under a state of emergency ahead of Dorian's impact. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer joins us now with a look at help available to residents there. Kayla, you're outside of a shelter? Yeah, that's... That's right. Good morning, guys. So we have moved from the shelter that's opening at 8 to here in downtown Fayetteville. As Paul mentioned, the rain starting to come here in Cumberland County. I want to show you where we are. The post office downtown. We're near Festival Park, Cross Creek. This area, of course, has flooded before, and the post office preparing with sandbags. We've also seen several downtown businesses have sandbags as well. It seems people are trying to be as prepared as they possibly can be. Yesterday, we got a look at the massive effort that FEMA is uh, operating at Fort Bragg right now. They have hundreds of trailers filled with food, water, emergency supplies. Those are all ready to be shipped out to wherever uh, they are needed after Dorian rolls through. We talked to emergency officials there who are saying right now it's just a waiting game to see where those supplies will be needed most. So we come in, we take care of everything we need to, to take care of in terms of accountability, uh, making sure everything's ready to go, make sure everything's roadworthy, get all our partners um, in the queue, and then it becomes a waiting game. And that's the hardest thing for us because uh, most of our people are response-oriented, so we're, we're used to going. Yeah, and those two emergency shelters set up that open at 8 this morning, one of those at Smith Recreation Center, the other one in Hope Mills at Southview High School. We'll have more information about that at CBS17.com. Plus, there is an information number for you to call if you are in Cumberland County. That number, 910-678-7657. That will start operating starting at 8 this morning. We will keep driving around this area, letting you know how conditions are throughout the day. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS17 News.